In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the example balloon provided by Dialog Manager and customize it with a portrait, different color, and a bigger font. Let's get started. Okay, I've started here with a fresh project. I just have a folder with a couple of pictures in it, and I've installed the Dialog Manager add-on from the asset lib. And you can see sometimes the asset lib lags behind in versions from the current version, so we can click this button to update, download the update, and it will install and now we just reload the project to get all those changes okay and now we're back with version 2.27.2 .2. and let's start by just making a dialog file call it main and just test that now in order to make a custom dialog balloon there's a option in the tools menu, create copy of dialog example balloon, and we'll pick somewhere to put it. Okay, let's put it in this folder here so we can have a look. So if we wanna add portraits to our balloon, we can start by adding an HBox container in here. And then set our VBox to grow. So now in this age box, we can put a texture rect. And set its minimum width. So my pictures here that I've got for portrait images are 150 by 150. So let's make this texture rect min width 150. And we'll put a bit of spacing here between these two things. We can do that by setting a margin in the age box container or the separation value, sorry. Uh, 30 is probably good. So you can see there's a bit of a gap there. Okay, now we wanna actually be able to set something in that based on whatever character comes from dialogue. So let's call, give this a name. And I'll make it uh, unique in the scene. Just makes it a bit easier to reference in code. So now in the code for that, so this takes a copy of the example balloon code so we can freely modify this without messing with the example balloon because this exists in our project now, not in the add-on. So we'll start by adding that portrait in here. So you can drag and hold control to get a copy of that to reference. So down where we're setting up the character label, we can also set the portrait here. So first of all, we need to work out what picture we're referencing based on the character name. Okay, then we can check if that file exists. Okay, if it exists, then we set the texture to be that texture, otherwise we just clear it out. Okay, so now in order to test this, you'll notice that when you run the test scene, we don't get that portrait balloon, we get the example one by default, but we can override this test scene by making a custom one. So let's do that now. So you can just make a 2D scene, we'll just call it the test dialog. Save that anywhere, doesn't really matter. Add a script. And in our script, it's important we extend base dialog test scene. And then in our ready function, uh, we make an instance of our balloon and then add it to the scene. So base dialog test scene provides the resource and the title that was sent through from when you run the test scene from the dialog editor. So we can use that in our custom one. So when we call start on the balloon, we can use the resource and the title, and then it will start from the resource provided at that title. So now that we have that, we can go into our dialogue settings and set our custom test scene to that one. And now when we run it, we get one with portraits. So. Let's add another bit of dialogue so we get a second portrait. It's that simple. Okay, let's make some other changes to this balloon while we're here. Our portrait doesn't really have a lot of padding on the top and bottom of it, so let's fix that. 
So to change most theme related things, the theme is actually set on the top panel balloon inside theme and down here you can edit it. So the button themes are these response buttons. The margin container is this margin container, which is what we want to change. So let's go to constants and you can see the top and bottom have half that of the left and right. So let's bring them up to being the same. Okay, now we need to also set a min height on our portrait. And make everything a little bit bigger. Okay, let's give that a whirl. So if we go to dialogue and test it, it'll be using our portrait balloon. It looks a bit more padded. Okay, let's make the font a little bit bigger too. So to do that, we go here to our theme and we have a default font size of 20. Let's make that 26. And you'll see everything just got a little bit bigger. So let's give that a test. There we go. Okay, lastly, let's change some colors. Make the panel blue. If we go to our panel, we can see our style box. Style box background color is black. So we can make it you know, RPG classic blue and make our responses a bit better too. So we go to button. So the buttons are a little bit more complicated because you've got four different style boxes for those. So normal, we'll make them, uh, we'll make them the same blue, I guess. And then disabled, we'll just leave as black and focus will change to a light blue. Okay, let's see how that goes. Okay, so that should be enough basic theming stuff to get you started making your own custom balloon. If you wanted to make things more complicated by having animations for the portraits, then you could probably instantiate uh, a whole scene there or even just instance you had an animated sprite or something uh, but for now it's all basically the same kind of principles as what we've just covered here so you can find a copy of this example project up on my patreon and speaking of which i'd like to thank my patrons for making this stuff possible specifically my cockatoo patrons vanillid skier and mario j roberti and my owl patron minus minus and that's all from me for now talk to you again soon